The American flag is something that used to unite all Americans. It didn't matter where you came from. If you were a citizen of the United States, you had an American flag and people respected the American flag. Well, in the past few years, we've seen Democrats repeatedly separate themselves away from the American flag in general. They hate it. I've been saying this for the longest period of time. And if you've been watching the way that politics have gone, you have noticed this as well. And now this journalist has pretty much point blank said it, that she finds the American flag disturbing. This is going to continue. We have to figure out how to get every American a place at the table in this democracy, but how to separate Americanness, America, from whiteness. Until we can confront that and talk about that, this is really going to continue. I was on Long Island this weekend uh, visiting a really dear friend, and I was really disturbed. I saw you know, dozens and dozens of pickup trucks with, uh, you know, uh, explicatives against Joe Biden uh, on the back of them, yep. uh, Trump yep. flags, and some cases just dozens of American flags, which, you know, uh, is also just disturbing because essentially the message was clear. It was, this is my country. This is not your yep. country. I own this. And so until we're ready to have that conversation, this is going to continue. What really is concerning to me as well is it's, it's not just Democrats in Congress. I think there's a large percentage of Americans, even some of my colleagues uh, in journalism, who are invested in some way in pretending that this isn't the threat that it is. No, as soon as I heard her say this, to be honest with you, my thought is, look, if you don't like the flag, you can go somewhere else. But see, you're not going to do that, are you? And, and that's the problem here with these people is that they always have some problem with the uh, something that's just as benign as the American flag. I mean, it's just the American flag. We know what it means. We know what it stands for. It's for our country. But for some reason, people like to attribute some other meaning to it. They did it with the Confederate flag. They do it all the time. And so she made this statement saying that the, uh, the, the flag represents Americanness and that it's also associated with whiteness. And, and the problem I have with this statement is that what she's doing is basically assuming that, oh, just because you have an American flag, that that means that that's, that it's, it's my country. Like, I don't think she understands what she's talking about because when you have an American flag, keep in mind that it's not about just some race or what it is. It's about being American. And I don't think there's anybody that has an American flag that is opposed to people of all races, of all the, that, that everybody here, if you're a citizen, you are here, you belong here. And we can be proud of that. We can be proud of being an American or whatever it is. But the thing is, is that if you go anywhere else in the world, it's not this, that way. It's never been that way for any other place or in other countries. Think about it. China, Africa, for example, those countries have predominant races, not just 50, 60 percent, like 90, 99 percent of people from those countries are a very specific race. China, for example, is a very good one because most of everybody by far in a way are Chinese, literally their race corresponds to their place of origin, where they're at. And the fact is, is that I can move to China, you can move to China at any point in our lives, and we can do everything. First of all, most of these countries don't even have a path to citizenship, but many of them, even if you did and were to go through some rigorous behavior to do that, you will never be Chinese. Ever. You'll never be seen as Chinese. You'll never be treated like you're Chinese. Think about the what what that means think about africa for example i mean it goes the same way there you'll never be african i can go there any day even though i'm black it doesn't matter i don't speak their language i've even heard that a lot of the africans are kind of in a way racist against other regions of different kinds of africans just because they're not from their central location the point is that you'll never be assimilated into that society or group but think about the United States. Our mentality is so different than any other country. It will blow your mind because we are unique in the fact that we are a true melting pot of a bunch of different types of people that a Chinese person can come here and, and get the citizenship. And they are literally American. It's not associated with a race. It never has been that way. 
But for some reason, people like this lady think that they can point to this and say, well, that means that it means whiteness. Well, you can come up with definitions of the flag all day, all you want. It doesn't really matter. Just because you get triggered by it doesn't mean it's true. I don't care about your truth. I care about the truth. That's all I care about. But the thing is, is that the flag is saying that this is our country. Yours, mine, everyone else's that's here in the United States that is a citizen. And the fact is, is that we're in a situation right now where Biden is in the White House and people still have an American flag up. Think about that for a second. They still believe in this country if they still have an American flag that they're wearing on their shirt, that they have outside of their house. But now we're at a point in time politically where if I see an American flag anywhere, I'm assuming that that person is a conservative. I'm assuming that they voted for Trump because people like this don't like this country. They never have liked this country. They don't want us to enjoy being in this country. And they see this entire country and everything that it is as being inherently racist. And they couldn't be more wrong. You just watched a clip from the William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.